Thank you very much, and you are welcome. I'll be using this lecture to design a front cover header. I, I believe you must have observed that from newsletters and newspapers, there is always a header on the front cover that will show the name, website, and some other important information about the newsletter or the newspaper. Now, the first thing you should do is I want to mark change the position to 200 so that I can be able to see what I'm doing very, very well. Now, now what you can just go to the rectangle tool and click on this, then draw your rectangle. Now, rectangle, you can see that you can notice that I'm doing it on the front page of my newsletter. I'll change the color, put the color, it depends on the color that you want to choose. I, I leave that for you to decide for your newsletter. I'll change this to I'll just add some more style. Let's add some more style. Just change with another rectangle here. Now we have something. We have something like light blue. Now just to give it some um, what is it called? Some beauty. Now click on the pick tool. Now I can now impute the title of my newsletter or the name of my newsletter. You click on the text tool. Click on the text tool. Click on the text tool. Let me call it uh, my newsletter. Now, my newsletter is called my newsletter. That's the name of my newsletter. So, let me just change this to something around 36 and change it to bold. I can also change the font. Change the font to something. Okay, let me pick this. Let me pick this. I can still change it to to change the font. Uh, change. Okay, this is big enough. I'll just bring it down here. Now my newsletter. That's the name of my newsletter. Change. It was this blue background. Let me change it to white. And what do I have? Let me click on it so that I can see what I have. Now my newsletter. Now that's the type name of my newsletter. I can also have uh, my website address on my on the front cover header. Of my newsletter. Now let me click on text again. Now that's my website address. Let me call it maybe dot my newsletter dot com. Just put your address here. Now you need to that's where now building it and then coming out this um, this let me use this and then let me Let's italicize it so bring it down here and see what I have. My newsletter.com because I want let me change font to something around 22. That should be okay. Now let me also make it white. Now I have something like that. Now as you can also people can just see my new my website address straight away when they receive my newsletter. Now, I want to show my newsletter is going to be free. If yours is not going to be free, uh, let me click. Let me use the ellipse too. Yours is not going to be, you should show it here. It's very important to show this too. But mine is going to be free. Let me make it white. So, now I want to put free so that anybody can free. Yes, my newsletter is free. My newsletter is not free. So let me just bring that into this place. So if you want to receive my newsletter, don't pay for it. It's free. If yours is not free, you can increase the cost there, the price of your newsletter there. Now let me just put some more information, something like my slogan at the bottom of the front cover header. I'm using the rectangle to again. Now, let me just put something like this. Now, let me also change it to white. And this is your slogan, something that will tell more people more about your newsletter or your organization. So, let me just call it Changing Our World. So, that's my slogan. That's my slogan. Let me let me change onto something like this. Then 
and intense visit and the use on the web browser. And I get from page. I'll just put this there now. I use that. Uh, that's my phone provider. It is free, changing our world, and I have my website. This is just a simple way of designing the font cover header for your newsletter or your newspaper. You can check your samples and try to copy out one of the things, but these are the basic things you have to do to show your name, to show the, the name and the, what your newsletter stands for. Thank you very much.